reserve a wine and pumpkin cream. Vamos a catar eh, un vino de la denominación de origen La Mancha. Eh. We're going to taste a wine from the Dola Mancha. In this case, it's a reservation. To certify that it's a reserve, we have to look at its back label, which gives us two critical pieces of information. First, that it's a quality wine from the La Mancha designation of origin, and second, that it's a reserve wine. It's a wine that has had a specific time in barrels and the bottle. This will bring a series of aromas and special and differential characteristics to the wine tasting. As it's a reserve, we have decided to decant. Why? Because we foresee that there will be grounds in the bottle, and being such a reserve, we help the wine open, oxygenate, and faster, we find the fullness of the wine in the glass. Vamos buscando un color, vamos buscando la fase visual del vino. ¿Qué es lo que nos encontramos en este vino? Lo que nos encontramos en este vino son... The decanting process is slow. We don't have to alter the wine, we just drop it slowly until we see that the grounds begin to reach the neck of the bottle. And at that moment, we stop. From there, we wait for the wine to open and we start enjoying it. We are looking for a color in the visual phase of the wine. We find signs of evolution, but they are also exciting. We have passed in the young wines of violet colors to see beautiful colors burgundy, tones a little more intense red without becoming oranges. It's a sign of their evolution, and they are typical of reserve wine, such as this one of the designations of origin La Mancha. If we move the glass a little and bring it to the nose, we will find memories of tertiary aromas. The fruit is not young, but we find compote, jams, these black fruits, much more evolved and much more sweet. Also, wood gives us beautiful tertiary memories, such as spices, vanilla, chocolate, tobacco leaf, and even a slight hint of cocoa. The wine in this process of evolution has become more complex. These aromas are exceptionally provided and open up a new and different wine that the passage of time has managed to shape. In boca. In boca. Todo lo que hemos percibido en nariz se refuerza por retronasal y nos encontramos... When you taste it in the mouth, everything we have perceived in the smell is reinforced by the retronasal root, and we find balance, roundness, and fullness. All these memories of tertiary aromas begin to be protagonists, giving complexity to the wine. We have toasted wood, souvenirs of coffee, vanilla, very well balanced with very ripe fruit. For wines of these characteristics, all dishes that provide spices are exciting as they come to remember this range of flavors. Our bet has been a pumpkin cream, with spices like the plain that gives power to these memories that the wood of wine gives us. Let's taste it to see if that harmony is achieved. Que lo que buscan es darle potencia a estos recuerdos que nos ha aportado la madera y darle una total, una total plenitud. Entonces, vamos a catarlo y vamos a ver si esa armonía realmente se consigue. Efectivamente, todos estos recuerdos que tenemos de la, de la, de la madera, del clavo, de las especias, cogen mucha potencia. Indeed, all the memories we have of wood, cloves, and spices get much power in a dish mainly made with autumn and winter vegetables. Also, the memory of nuts gives strength to reserve wine flavors. Del vino en del de vino de reserva y no debemos olvidar que estamos hablando de un vino que está. We must not forget that it's a wine that has Tempranillo and Cabernet Sauvignon. It's a ubiquitous blend, with the Cabernet giving structure and Tempranillo that provides fruit aromas and complex memories of these compote fruits. It's a dish with an outstanding balance and where the power of spice and ripe fruit come into perfect harmony. The spice and the potency of the fruit compote come into perfect harmony.